Hey folks, I just want to remind you to check out my eBay store at seemsgoodmagic.com for some play sets and singles. I also want to remind you to check out live stream times, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 p.m. Central Time. And also, follow us on Twitter, at seemsgoodmagic. Thanks, and enjoy the video. Hey guys, Alex from seemsgoodmagic.com here with a modern shaman deck. Okay, so I'm going to run through how this list works. I uh, just wrapped up that first Legacy deck, so now I'm going to explore Modern a little bit. Once again, this is just going to be a tournament practice room sort of uh, video series um, until I feel comfortable enough with the deck where I think it can win some dailies. So I'll run through how this deck works. First of all, all the creatures are Shamans. Uh, the one drops, we have Fire Drinker. Let me bring up the card thing real quick here. All right. One drops, we've got Fire Drinker, Seder, Flamekin, Harbinger... Goblin Arsonist, Intimidator Initiate, and Stone Rite. Two drops, we got the Burning Tree Emissaries, and three drops, we have the Rage Forger. The Harbinger is for searching up the Rage Forger. And if you don't know what Rage Forger does, it uh, puts a plus one, plus one counter on each other Shaman you control, and then whenever a creature you control with a plus one, plus one counter on it attacks, you may have that creature deal one damage to target player. So works really well with all these awesome one-drop... Uh, Shamans. Mutavolt also happens to be a Shaman too, and it permanently keeps the plus one, plus one counter, so it's kind of cool. Um, I'm running Lightning Bolts and Pillar of Flames main deck as my only real forms of removal. I feel like Pillar of Flame, I saw a couple lists running it, and uh, I like it because Voice of Resurgence is popular in the Birthing Pod lists, and uh, Kitchen Finks is also a really good card, so having access to Pillar of Flame is presumably really important. I mean, I honestly, like Legacy, I don't have a ton of modern experience, just a few playtest sessions. Uh, Shared Animosity is the also the other three drop that I'm also uh, like pretty much getting full value from all these one drop and two drops with. Um, really, the, the point of the deck is to have three creatures by turn three, and then either drop a Rage Forger or a Shared Animosity and deal nine damage. So uh, it's a very consistent deck. I like it for that, and uh, comes out of the gates really fast. Cavern of Souls, once again, needs to be a four of because counter spells are played in this format, and Chalice of the Void is also played a little bit as well. So I need a way to get past that. Um, let's go to the sideboard. Forked Bolts uh, is more for just other little creature decks, mono white aggro or soul sisters, stuff like that. It's nice to get a two for one for one mana. Uh, skull cracks are for, I don't know, batter skulls, any other form of uh, life gain they may have, even a kitchen finks, maybe. Um, I mean, I'm not I'm not sold on skull crack yet, it's just sort of something I have. Smash to smithereens is important for birthing pod, spell skite, stuff like that. Uh, I like that it punishes their life total as well. Uh, it also is obviously good against affinity, since it's destroy one of their creatures or... Uh, Cranial Plating, deal 3 damage to him. Shatterstorm, awesome card. Uh, pretty much a one-sided wog against Affinity, which is nice. And then Combust is for the Splinter Twin combo-y decks. Uh, I, I didn't fork up the $12 to get the... Or 12 tickets to get the Spell Skite. So Combust uh, is a nice way to deal with the Seaver Exarch, since they can't Spell Skite it. They can't counter it. However, it doesn't stop the Kiki Jiki. So, uh, something I gotta keep in mind. I do have the Lightning Bolt to kill it, but they run counter spells, so that can still be an issue. And they also have Spell Skite, so there are some issues. But uh, we're gonna try and play test this. Uh, hope you enjoy it. I used to play something very similar to this in Standard that I, uh, well, I can say it now, it's, it was less good, but this is a nice little mono white, cheap little modern brew deck. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the playtest sessions. We'll see how this does. All right, we're here in a modern match. We have the choice. We'll play first. Yes, this looks pretty good. Opponent is mulliganing to five and keeping. All right. So... Uh, a land or another one drop are the ideal draws here. Forbidden Orchard. Whenever you tap Forbidden Orchard for mana, we get a 1-1 one, one colorless spirit token. Interesting. It almost makes me... Ooh, that was kind of an awkward draw. Uh, Alright, so we attack for two. 
and drop an Intimidator into shit and pass. Multiple Forbidden Orchards. All right, a little bit mind blown. This might be something I should know about, but I don't. Suture Priest. That's interesting. That's kind of a cool idea. We're obviously not going to let that happen. But still, it's a cool idea. Um, yeah, we'll probably drop the stone right, too. Could have some sort of board sweeper, though, so I'm going to chill out, I think, for now. Huh. All right. Well, we don't have the kill spell, but we do have shared animosity, which is going to be insane with the four spirits he gave us. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. All right. Well, Forbidden Orchard didn't work that well against us in that circumstance, for sure. But I actually, I think the idea of what he's doing is kind of interesting. Um, I like that Pillar of Flame can take care of Blood Artist without uh, any sort of life punishment. So I might bring that in. And I think we're bringing in the Fork Bolt as well. So Fork Bolt, Pillar, why don't we take out... I don't know. What do we take out? We can probably do the fork bolts over the lightning bolts, honestly. So then maybe we don't need the pillar. And if we don't need the pillars, then I guess we might as well just do lightning bolts. But I like the idea of the forked bolts a lot. I think that could be beneficial against the two creatures we saw out of them. Um, yes, we're going to try this out. Seder into Arsonist Intimidator into Shared Animosity. Oh, looks like he's going to get rid of the Shared Animosity. We're still okay. Still have seven more tools at our disposal that uh, pump everything. There we go. Speak of the devil. So, is he running Golgari Charm? I mean, I, I don't know exactly what his sweeper is yet, but I do have to presume he's probably... Packing some now, but we're still going to obviously go for it. Sylvan Scrying. Okay. Let's see what land card he goes for here. Isolated Chapel. Interesting. Alright. So, play the Mutavolt. Play the Rage Forger. Pump our team. They deal a bunch of damage to him. Yes, yes, yes. Alright. Pretty close to wrapping this up. Even if he wogs, we get to deal one more to him. We get to attack him with the Muta Vault, and we have the Lightning Bolt. So, in a decent position here. Timely. Oh, that was a pretty good one. Still not that good. So 
So we activate Mutavolt. We attack everything. I could have Lightning Bolted him now. I kind of want him to get greedy and double block something needlessly. Actually, I wonder if I can kill him. 11... I can make one of them not block, and then he can only block two of our guys. If he blocks the two biggest, he still takes two, four, six, plus three, nine. No, I don't think it's lethal yet. So we're gonna let we're gonna see how he blocks. Huh. All right. I'm not sure why he's leaving the one back. Seems a bit strange. All right. Still definitely powering out the arsonist. And no, we're not going to. Because now board sweepers really don't matter since we can still deal the damage to him and lightning bolt him out. Okay. Still not the end of the world here. I think we might actually just have lethal now. So play the emissary. Pay one. That guy can't block. Add the mana. Um, activate this with the green. Lightning bolt him. Can't pay from any more to not block. And swing for the fences. All right. Now we got that match. That was kind of a weird match, though, so we'll see uh, in the next one if we play against some more of the well-known modern decks.